Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, quiet here across Acadiana this evening, but an active severe weather outbreak across uh, portions of Arkansas uh, this evening as we did see several tornado warnings and uh, still the threat of severe weather ongoing there and across western Tennessee uh, late this evening. And we're seeing those subtly breezes kicking in, so that's just bringing in that Gulf moisture and uh, humidity will continue to be on the upswing over the next few days. And we are going to see a couple of rounds, multiple rounds of showers and storms here across Acadiana through about Wednesday. Now Storm Prediction Center already has all of Acadiana locked in for a slight level two out of five risk to see severe storms not only tomorrow, but then as we head into Wednesday as well, slightly greater risk of severe storms as we get across the northern parts of the state, Mississippi, Arkansas, and then uh, portions of Tennessee. Primary threats, strong winds, heavy downpours and maybe a couple isolated spin up tornadoes. Now what's kind of saved us over the last couple of severe weather threats has been that stable marine layer. So we'll uh, see if that continues to be the case over the next couple of days. Let's track it out with the high resolution rapid refresh model mild overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, middle and upper 60s and in partly to mostly cloudy skies out there for our Tuesday temperatures mild into the afternoon, upper 70s to near 80 degrees and then we'll start to see uh, showers and storms increasing in coverage mid to late afternoon and then going into the evening time frame. Now a lot of energy available in the atmosphere over the next couple of days and a good amount of low level moisture as well. So any storms we see uh, developing could be on the stronger side and put down a pretty good amount of rainfall in a pretty short period of time as well. So we're watching out for that. Here we go into Wednesday morning, upper 60s to near 70 degrees and then another round of scattered showers and storms on the way Wednesday afternoon and then going into Wednesday evening as a frontal boundary starts to approach the area. European model backing that up as well. And uh, as long as that boundary clears the area enough on Thursday, we may uh, squeeze out a dry day there. Uh, still mild into the afternoon, mid and upper 70s. And then that boundary is going to kind of get caught up across the area. So it uh, looks like scattered rain chances sticking with us into Friday and then hopefully starting to tone down a bit as we head into the Easter weekend. But uh, as of now, I got rain chances at around 20 to 30 percent both Saturday and Easter Sunday, uh, but it's going to be a warm weekend for any of your outdoor plans. We're going to see those high temperatures pushing the middle 80s. It's going to be muggy out there as well. As far as rainfall totals, uh, her model taking us through Wednesday evening, showing most of us around a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, locally higher amounts near Baton Rouge. And as you get across uh, southeastern portions of Acadiana and we switch that over to the European model, showing a little bit higher amounts, taking us into Thursday in or two with locally higher amounts uh, possible out there. But again, uh, sometimes the models miss if we have those heavier thunderstorms that kind of set up, they could easily produce an inch to inch and a half of rainfall in a pretty short period of time. Not necessarily looking at a flooding concern uh, simply because we've been so dry over the last several weeks, but nonetheless, we'll keep an eye on it for you tonight. Mostly cloudy, uh, mild out there, 67 for the overnight low and then heading into our Tuesday, partly to mostly cloudy out there. Uh, scattered showers and storms again, increasing in coverage through the afternoon and evening hours. Rain chances will start to increase around 70 to 80 percent. We'll go 79 into the afternoon and again some of those storms could be on the strong to possibly severe side. Similar story heading into our Wednesday as the pattern remains active and unsettled. Uh, rain chances toning down just a bit on Thursday. It's also going to be less humid on Thursday so that's the good news and then scattered showers looking to return on Friday and hopefully activity more or less on an isolated pace is heading into the weekend. But again, warm temperatures out there, uh, middle 80s, both Saturday and then heading into Easter Sunday. But of course, over the next couple of days, we're going to be here with you and just make sure you have the KTC uh, weather app downloaded in the event we were to see any warnings. Issue. Always good to stay weather aware. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brad.